Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's good to be back this morning. Uh, been kind of in a run getting everything set up and ready to go, so we hope we're in tune. And uh, if not, well, we'll do our best to try to straighten it out as we go along. Uh, having a little bit of problem with our internet, so uh, we're hoping that this is going to come through real good for you out there today. And praying that uh, we'll be a blessing. We got a lot to be thankful for this morning. We just thank God for his blessings and his goodness, for his very presence and his power. We do praise him for that. I ask you to keep praying for uh, praying for Joanne and me and the family and that God would just touch and help as he sees fit and others today that uh, we want you to remember. We want you to remember Brother Wesley and his wife, Brother Tim and his wife and uh, facing things as we are. And then uh, we want to remember the families. We want to remember uh, the family of Austin, Lord, uh, there, uh, Marilyn, and all the children, grandchildren there, that God would touch them over this loss. And uh, the family of uh, Dwayne Hardgrace that uh, remember them. Pray that the Lord would touch and help them in this time of loss. And there's others uh, that have lost loved ones, and they're sick and afflicted, uh, need to be in prayer for. And Linda's brother, they... Uh, carrying him to the uh, the doctor or hospital, so let's pray for them, and uh, let's pray for uh, all the folks in our church that are sick and afflicted. We want to keep praying for uh, Brother David Woodard and lift him up in your prayers, and Brother Jim and uh, Rosie and others in our church that uh, uh, test and different things. Let's just keep praying for them today. We need your prayers, and thank the Lord for his blessings. God has been so good to us, and we do Praise him for all that he's doing today. Probably left some names out, I hope not, but we love all of you and thank God for you and uh, just pray that the Lord would touch. I hope, Malcolm, hope you're feeling better today and doing well and all of our family today. So let us go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you that you gave us this day. We feel so honored to get to stand again in front of this host of people. We don't know them, God. We can't see them, but God, you know each one of them, and you know every need that there in their heart and in their life. And Father, we commend them to you as we commend ourselves. We thank you for answering prayer. We thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you're going to do, because we believe in thy precious word. We ask you now to bring comfort and strength where it's needed. We ask you to bring the help that our souls are crying out for. We ask you to save to the other most that one which is lost. And God, let us all be found faithful in doing your will. Touch your children, strengthen us, and encourage us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we want to send our program out to Brother Clyde this morning. Hope that you're doing well, Clyde. And also, we want to send it out uh, today to Mary Ann and uh, Sister Bobby and uh, Sister uh, Alice and Sister Joe and Charles and Linda. Appreciate all of y'all today. Brother Dewey, we send it your way. I may God bless you. And Leon and Liz will be listening by means of the radio. Brother Terry, if you're listening in, send it to you today. And Lloyd and Nancy and uh, uh, also to Kathy and Aaron and Ashley and Kenneth and the family. Uh, we appreciate them and Rosie and Wayne. And may the Lord bless you as our prayer. And Sister Wanda, send it to you. And also to Sister Kathy Blackman. Uh, that's my... Uh, no doubt probably be watching all of these folks. We love them, appreciate them today. And uh, got to see Charlotte again. We appreciate and love her and send our program out to you, Charlotte, this morning and your family. Uh, as I said, Brother David, hope you're feeling well. Brother Malcolm and Sister Ann and uh, Brother Randy and Sister Donna and uh, David and uh, Tanya and uh, Sarah Grace and all of you today. We just appreciate you from the bottom of our heart, Jimmy. Over in the Dry Creek area, we appreciate you. Send it out to Connie and all of our cousins uh, down around the Rome area there. May God bless all of y'all. And also uh, over in the Chatsworth and the Dalton area, we appreciate y'all. May the Lord bless y'all over there. Also to our family today, our sisters that are listening, if uh, Judy or Tracy's watching or any of the family, we appreciate you and send it out to y'all. And may God bless today. We pray that our lost families will be saved. That's our heart's desire. And I hope that you'll pray with us that they will be saved today. Down south way, Joseph will make some dedications here in just a little bit. And we do appreciate all of you today. 
Hope that the Lord is blessing Wayne and Sonia, uh, Tidmore. We appreciate y'all. I pray for Laura uh, having a, a test run there, and then we'll be going to Atlanta and seeing what they can do for her ears. Uh, just pray for this little baby and, and Sonia's need, and also want to send it to Joe and Sonia, Joe's family uh, today. And hope that the Lord is blessing you all this morning. All right, well, let's get started today, and may God touch you. I have never seen the face of my Savior, but serving Him's been such a thrill. I have never seen the gates to that city, oh, but one day, one day.
steps into the room. So many prayer requests being sent in. We just thank you for uh, your confidence and for our church. And uh, we just thank the Lord for each one in our church. we got a wonderful uh, family, and we just love them all here at our church today. So you pray. Pray for Joseph now. If I've left your name out, maybe I'll remember here just in a tad. Uh, Johnny and Jeanette and Johnny and Dee, we appreciate y'all. And may God bless you. And Miss Ingram, we send it to you also today. I'd send it out to everybody we're going to be sending it out to, Randy and Cindy and Wanda and to uh, Miss Chapman and uh, Miss Cook, Rosie Chapman, Miss Cook, and Keith and David, and to uh, Mary Davis and her husband Gene and to, to Johnny and Diane McClung and uh, to uh, their brother JB. And, uh, we send it out to uh, see the chances watching on there this morning. We send it out to you. And, uh, this right here is a song that Linda uh, Harris likes a lot, and I'm going to try it. It just was in the front of this book when I opened it up, and then it was over, and I said, well, we'll do that one. Uh, I think it's G. I may be wrong way after saying it. There's a day that's out in front of us. I know we should have done. That eastern sky will open wide, filling God's deep sun. And I know from here to heaven is but a twinkling of the eye. In the midst of all His glory comes the sweetest cry. Welcome home. Suffer, not going to have to think, uh, face the things of this life anymore. 
uh, and, and that's a, that's a more more a blessing. The more you see things, the things of this uh, world come to pass. Uh, thank you, Jim. Well, I went to home one day to see some friends of mine. I all the books and magazines I buy. lives and uh, uh, we look around us and we realize that no matter how how bad it is it could always get worse and uh, I want to send our program out to uh, uh, today to David and Joyce if they're getting to listen and watch and uh, also uh, to my, my cousin Doris so she's been getting to watch and uh, uh, to, on our program so Doris we love y'all and appreciate you and uh, and Eileen and all the family today. A loved one here had reached the end of life's journey. He'd been holding on to Jesus for so long. As I knelt there by his face, Just trust the Lord. 
to Rodney and Christy this morning, and uh, if they're getting to listen. And I do appreciate you, Chance, of, of watching us, and I, 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 I got to aggravate Chance and uh, get around with him a little there. And we sure do love you and appreciate you. And uh, may God touch all of you today. All right, you pray for Joseph as he comes back this morning. Uh, David uh, is on there. David's hipsy, and he asked for everybody to remember Joyce in prayer. Said she's been sick for about three weeks. God help her. So uh, if y'all remember them. Yes, or touch. Uh, miss y'all. May God bless you. Let me see if I'm get to what my fingers were. Pages are stuck together. Uh, I know what's there. I'll just look right here, page 68. I thought it was right there where I was looking. Y'all just forgive me. And I'll get there as quick as I possibly can. Gene, if you're getting to watch, I want to do this song on here for you because you like this song. I might make a mess of it. Uh, but we're going to try it. Maybe he will be you. Let's see. Come, Jesus, bird, tell his
touching in every way. Amen. I tell you what, uh, if you're out there today and you don't know the Lord, it's going to be a good day for you to get right with God. Did you know that? Uh, be a good day. And so I, I hope that you will. And uh, just praise the Lord for all that he has done in my life. And uh, I, I, you know, I, I praise him for what he's doing in yours, but I, I can uh, praise him for what he's done in my life today also. And May God bless you as our prayer. Okay, uh, we'll send this song out uh, uh, down South Way. This is, and Rosie got me this song years ago. I hope it'll be a blessing to all of us. Uh, let's do it in D. I, I have to change things around here lately. I listen down a man cried out to his God of the world. And stone. It broke my heart to see the tears that he shed all along. Oh, I knew that it was hopeless and he would not be seen. An answer from the gods, he said, could not. Because he surely did. I, I mean, I was in sin's prison. I was lost and on my way to hell. Uh, my sin debt was ever increasing. I couldn't pay it. I couldn't work my way out. I sang my way out or anything to get out except through the blood of Jesus. 
And Jesus says, sign my part, and he has set me free. And I hope this old song will be a blessing to you. Bill, I was in sin prison, oh, so dark and cold. Just the law she wandering from God's eternal fold. Then the door swing open. Jesus spoke to me. I outside your pardon. You may now go free. Jesus signed my pardon. Yes, I truly know. Took my place on Calvary. good to us and I, I praise him for that. I, I do. I thank God for his blessings and all that he's doing in our life. Amen. Well, let's drop back to the kids. Maybe it says he left. I'm going to do it indeed. We'll do one more song. I am a pilgrim but not a rapper. I only fall when I fail to see there is a path for me to follow. Lord, help me to show me. I can shine on my path, but shepherd call me, call me down the road. I'm coming, I'm coming. Help me carry this hill, heavy load. to you just for a little while this morning if God be our helper and uh, uh, for all of the uh, unseen uh, well all of you unseen this morning but 
for our radio audience of next week will be in the book of Acts chapter 1 and for all of you out there on the Facebook you already know that we appreciate you I appreciate comments I tell you what uh, it's such a blessing for you to get on there and, uh, for, of course uh, I don't get to see your comment during our, our program uh, but uh, I'll get you after a while look at you and, and uh, praise the Lord that he is touching you and what a great great thing I, I do I appreciate your comment and letting us know uh, this is some a way some of us get to keep in contact in ways that we can't others because we don't get to see each other all the time but uh, I'm just thank you for praying for us and for speaking uh, on this uh, text and all that and letting us know and encouraging us that you're with us today Acts chapter 1 Starting in verse number 9. It's not unfamiliar scripture. Really, a friend of mine, we should be studying the word of God and uh, be familiar with, the, with his word today and all the things that God's trying to show us or wants to show us through his, his precious book. You pray for us. We, uh, we're, we uh, like I say, friend of mine, we, we're battling things in our life just like everybody else is, physical and uh, different things and uh, and even spiritual sometimes, you know, the devil tries his best to get us down and discourage us, but I'm glad there's a God greater in me than the devil that's in the world. And I do love him, and I praise the Lord for his goodness. The Bible says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, and let me read the rest of it. Said, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Let us pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, for this most blessed day. Thank you, God, for the audience that we're standing before this morning. God, for the opportunity to preach one more message this side of eternity and God this pulpit that we stand behind today is a most precious place unto us and uh, God we seem so unworthy but we're thankful that you have called us to fulfill our position and do our little part in trying to spread the gospel to the world uh, of lost and dying souls. We ask you today that our message might encourage and help and strengthen and lift up. And God, we might just do all you'd have us to do and be all you'd have us to be. We love you and we thank you, God. Strengthen our bodies, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to talk to you about the next time he comes. And uh, I, want to, I want you to take this in earnest this morning. Uh, a lot of people today are, are not considering life as far as the ending of life. They're not considering the fact that the Lord could come right now. Friend of mine, they, they're, their schedule is so full of today, packed up with all the things that they want to do that will try to make them have a better tomorrow when there is no promise in the Word of God that there is one. But yet, uh, we need to get concerned about the next time the Lord comes. And we need to get concerned about the, the, our last day here. But I, I want to talk to you a little bit about this this morning. I, I don't think today that a lot of people e e even give much thought to this in today's time. They're not thinking about the Lord's coming. If people really was thinking about the coming of the Lord, friend of mine, they would be devoting their life to doing God's work. They'd be devoting their life to doing God's will. They'd be devoting their life and trying to win those that are lost, friend of mine, uh, to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. People today seem to devote, devote their time to fulfilling the desires of the flesh, for trying to take in all that the world, uh, a friend of mine, has to offer, and they're completely blindsided to reality. People today are, are so blind to reality. Amen. Amen. They look in the mirror, but they can't really see what manner of person that they're looking at. Amen. In their mind, they have, in their mind, they have procrastinated their spiritual need. They are walking down the path that's called the broad path and uh, they're headed toward destruction and yet they are ignoring the reality that our life is a fleeting thing, that time is running out, that whether the Lord comes today or tomorrow, 10,000 years from now, yet our life as we know it here is going to cease. Amen. 
And people today are not coming to terms with that reality. I'm convinced that if anybody uh, could take a good look at hell through the Word of God, I'm not talking about how uh, anyone else might tell you. I, I want you to get earnest. I want you to look in the book. I want you to go to uh, what God says. I want you to go to the authority on the subject this morning. Not uh, not some speculator or someone uh, that forms an opinion, but I, I want you to look in the book, the Word of God. And I believe that uh, if you take a good look at hell uh, uh, through the Word of God and confirm it in your heart that uh, that it's real and the damnations is real and, and the fact that it's eternal, I, I believe that it'll change the way you're living and I believe you'll begin to call on the name of the Lord for your soul's redemption. I, I believe today if you could only see hell for what hell really is, that uh, you'd have no desire of going there and, and you'd do everything in your capability to, uh, to keep you from going. And it's very easy the Lord has made a way out. The escape from hell is uh, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the Son of God. God. I, I'd escape today is the fact that your sin penalty has been paid and that it was paid through the precious blood of Jesus. That was shed. Uh, on an old rugged cross for your redemption. He had rescued you uh, if you want to be rescued. But he's reaching out his hand, but you got to reach up and take hold of his hand. He's not going to reach down there and grab you. He's not going to kick in the door of your heart and uh, save you today. He's made an offer to you. He's willing to save you. Uh, he's willing to reach down and pull you up and, uh, and give you life everlasting. But you got to be wanting it today. Uh, do you know that hearts have become so uh, spiritually numb because of the lack of hearing of thus said the Lord. People quit listening to God's word. Uh, how they quit coming to church, amen. Uh, how they turn on their motivational speaker. And uh, uh, they tell them everything's good. Everything ain't good. I want you to know that. Uh, everything ain't good. We're living in a world of sin. We're uh, living in a world of uh, spiritual darkness. We're living in a world when uh, people today are full of hatred, despise. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, we're living in a time when people need the Lord and, and they need to come to terms with their sin and the only way to do that uh, is by hearing the word of God and being convicted and condemned uh, and bringing that, uh, letting that conviction bring them to an altar repentance where they can get their heart uh, right with God. Do you hear me today? Uh, uh, people that's living in sin uh, uh, I can't be enthused uh, uh, they might uh, abast in the moment but the moment's going to pass away uh, uh, just as our life that is a season is going to pass away uh, uh, people are, are so deaf of hearing the word of God uh, uh, they're liking that. We're closer now uh, to the coming of Jesus than we've ever been, but our hearts are still spiritually dormant. Uh, you know that they have no feeling at all. People today, our uh, uh, hearts are just like it's been uh, touched with a hot iron. Uh, uh, they, they're crusted over. They're cold and they're indifferent. How uh, uh, They no longer see themselves uh, uh, as being anything. Uh, a friend of mine, as far as being a sinner, they see themselves as being better than other people. Uh, uh, they see themselves as being the gift of God. Uh, uh, a friend of mine to the world, uh, uh, but you're not. You're just a sinner. Uh, you're created out of the dust of the earth the same way I am. Uh, and God put in you a soul, an eternal soul. Uh, and one day that soul's going to leave that tabernacle of flesh. Uh, and the flesh is going back to the ground. Uh, and the soul's going to wherever you've made a joy. Uh, heaven or hell, that's up to you today. I, I can't choose for you. Uh, uh, but I can tell you about it. Amen. Uh, it seems to be there's little activity to be found uh, when it comes to the application of the Word of God. Uh, amen. People sit in churches. Uh, uh, God speak brings a message. Uh, I pray, but you couldn't move them with a stick. Uh, you couldn't stir them this morning whatsoever. Uh, I pray to mind they convinced everything's okay. Uh, uh, but yet they do not realize uh, uh, that the life they're living in so many ways uh, is a stench in the nostrils of God uh, uh, because they will not confess their sin. Uh, uh, they will not pray up uh, uh, where they can look up and be ready to go up. Uh, uh, if the Lord come right now, hey man, hey man. Uh, uh, listen, friend of mine, uh, uh, there seems to be so little activity to the uh, uh, application of the Word of God. Uh, and the confession of sin by the convicting power uh, of the Holy Ghost. Uh, it seems like the Holy Ghost of God uh, uh, is restricted in the congregation of the church. Uh, why? Because hard uh, are not worshiping freely and fully. Uh, uh, they're not devoted. 
Wanted and dedicated uh, to God's will. Hey, man, let me say that to you today. Uh, I pray that you're either uh, a channel of God's blessing and God's love. Uh, uh, you're like a stagnant pond. Uh, uh, if there's nothing coming in and going out, uh, you're stagnated. Uh, and there's people in churches today uh, uh, that spiritually stagnated. Uh, hey, man, they just sit down and do nothing. Uh, hey, man, I'm talking to you out there this morning. Uh, get Get mad or get glad. Uh, uh, it's all up to you, amen, today. Uh, do you understand, friend of mine? Uh, uh, there's been a lot of things happened uh, uh, since that Bethlehem night uh, uh, when Jesus came into this world. A uh, uh, baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger. A uh, uh, friend, he, this baby grew dumb. A uh, uh, friend, he became a full-grown man. Uh, and at the age of 30, he stepped out. Uh, and he began his ministry, uh, uh, reaching out to the heart uh, of a lost and a dying world. Uh, how do you understand that? Uh, God's only begotten Son uh, uh, passed through this world uh, uh, doing that which no other had done. I uh, uh, speak in words of truth and authority uh, uh, that even caused the soldiers uh, uh, that were sent to take him to return empty handy. Uh, and tell those that had sent them. I uh, uh, never had they heard a man. Uh, never been a man speak. I uh, uh, like this man speak. They still ain't. Uh, uh, there's nobody can speak like Jesus. Uh, uh, there's nobody has the authority and power. I uh, uh, like Jesus. Jesus, amen, today. Listen, uh, uh, his words were undeniable proof uh, of his identity. Uh, and in three and a half years, uh, uh, he carried forth his mission. Uh, uh, the world was turned upside down uh, and forever changed. Uh, in those three and a half years, uh, as he walked the face of this earth, uh, as he healed the sick, opened eyes of the blind, uh, uh, caused the dead to rise again, uh, uh, the crippled to walk, the dumb to talk, the devil to hear. Uh, and all of that was great. Uh, uh, but that ain't what he came for. Uh, uh, the Bible said Jesus said uh, uh, that he come to seek and to save that which is lost. Uh, and in that three and a half years uh, uh, he made his way to Calvary uh, uh, to a cruel old tree we call the rugged old crowd. Uh, uh, friend, and in doing so uh, uh, he laid down his life uh, uh, as a sacrifice to God. Uh, a lamb of God. Uh, and he shed his blood freely. Uh, uh, that through the shedding of the blood uh, uh, you could be made white uh, uh, friend your sins could be covered uh, uh, you could be forgiven uh, uh, you could have life everlasting uh, uh, if you want it out there today amen uh, uh, listen uh, uh, the world is forever changed uh, uh, in that three and a half year uh, as the son of God amen uh, uh, walk up to Calvary's hill uh, and gave his own life. Listen, uh, uh, John the Baptist identified him uh, as the Lamb of God. Uh, uh, and so should we today. Uh, he said that taketh away uh, uh, the sins of the world. Uh, uh, there's no other way uh, uh, for the sins to be taken away. Uh, and Except through the sacrifice of this lamb. Uh, friend, this is putting in perspective uh, of the gospel message uh, of the death, burial, and resurrection uh, of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, listen, friend of mine, uh, I think about that precious blood uh, uh, that was shed for me and you. Uh, he became our Redeemer. Uh, uh, he rescues whosoever will. Uh, he didn't come just to save me. Uh, I believe if I was the only one he would have, uh, uh, but he come to save you if you're lost. Uh, he come to save whosoever will uh, out there today. If if you're hearing me under the sound of this message, uh, uh, God's reaching out to you today. Uh, I want him to save you uh, uh, from the fiery flames of hell uh, and give you everlasting life in God's kingdom. Make man. Uh, you don't have to die unprepared to meet God. Uh, you don't have to face your eternity. Uh, uh, friend, do mine without a Savior. Uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ has made a way for you. Uh, oh, listen, friend of mine. Uh, he left this world as a Savior. Uh, and he, uh, he suffered the old rugged crowd. Uh, I bruised in the head of the devil. Uh, on Gal got the shield. Uh, uh, but he sat down at the right hand of the Father. Uh, a place of power 
authority. Uh, uh, the precious blood I've been preaching about. Uh, uh, that was shed to pay our sin debt. Uh, I was put on the mercy seat. Uh, ain't you glad there's blood on the mercy That's seat? Right. Uh, ain't she glad. Uh, uh, Jesus is our advocate. Uh, uh, Jesus is the propitiation uh, uh, for our sin today. Uh, aren't you glad, friend of mine, uh, uh, that all we got to do is just plead the blood? Uh, yeah. Amen. Glory be to God. Uh, uh, there's blood on the mercy seat. Uh, and when you call upon the Lord, uh, uh, He'll take your case to the Father. Uh, and amen. Listen. Uh, uh, God will send forth a uh, uh, forgiving grace and mercy through His Son. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, listen, friend of mine. Uh, hey, the Holy Ghost has been sent uh, uh, to speak to all uh, uh, mankind. He tells us about Jesus. Uh, he reminds us of what the Lord has said uh, and shows us all things which the Lord had done. Uh, I pray and then you'll knock at the heart's door uh, of every soul that is lost. Uh, and if you'll just open the door and let him in, uh, your life will be forever changed. Uh, your name will be written in the Lamb's book of life. Uh, and when you stand in judgment, uh, he'll stand at the judgment seat of Christ uh, and not the great white throne. Uh, and friend, you'll be invited in uh, uh, to the kingdom of God uh, uh, as the bride of Christ. Amen. Oh, thank the Lord. Uh, uh, there's a throne of grace I want you to know. Uh, amen. That's been set before us. Uh, and the Bible says we can boldly come to it. Uh, to obtain mercy uh, and find the grace that we need to help uh, in our time of need. Thank God for that throne of grace. Uh, uh, and I have to go to it every day. I need God every day. I need His help. I need His grace. I need His mercy. I need His strength. I strength. I need His direction. I in my life. Amen. I'm glad I can come boldly. Amen. Sometimes I come ashamed because of the sin in my life. But God said I could cast all my cares upon Him, the Lord. And then I can come boldly. I can bring my heart. I can bring my care. I can bring my need. I pray to this throne of grace and mercy and find what God wants me to have. Oh, listen, I ain't got a lot of time. I didn't get into it much. But listen to me, there's an invitation uh, uh, being sent out today. Uh, and I want you to understand that. Uh, and God's asking us to come. Uh, uh, there's a warning being preached to the Lord. Uh, uh, there's signs and warners that we, a warning uh, uh, to appeal to the hearts of man. I uh, uh, pray that they'll cast their eyes upon biblical prophecy uh, and realize that surely uh, uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt uh, uh, that we're living in the last day. Uh, uh, the parents this time to opponent. Uh, uh, do you understand that? Uh, uh, there's an invitation for you to come. Uh, uh, God's not hiding anything from you. Uh, uh, we're living in perilous times. Uh, we're living in the days of the coming of the Lord. Uh, uh, the next thing that's going to happen is the rapture. Uh, it's imminent. Uh, uh, that means it's signless. Uh, uh, there's no signs to tell us. Uh, about the rapture, we just have the word of God on it. Uh, uh, Jesus said he's gone, he's coming back. Uh, uh, two men in white apparel said he's coming the same way he went. Uh, hey man, uh, in the clouds, in the air. Uh, uh, friend, I don't you understand, he's coming. Uh, uh, the next time he comes, uh, he'll come as King of King and Lord of Lord. Uh, well, friend of mine, uh, uh, the next time he comes, he's coming as our Redeemer. Uh, uh, he's coming to call us away. Uh, and then we'll all be there uh, when he's crowned King of King and Lord of Lord. Uh, uh, that'll be the second coming. Uh, uh, the rapture's not the second coming, uh, uh, friend, but it's a call in the way of the church. Uh, I have a back up and get that straight. Uh, if I don't, somebody might text in and say I had it wrong. Uh, but I ain't got it wrong now. Uh, I pray that's the way it's going to be. Uh, I hope and pray God has touched you somehow uh, uh, through the preaching of the word. Uh, I think God has helped you if you're lost. Be saved, I pray. Uh, call upon his name uh, while you can. Amen. God bless you till a little while. Uh, amen and amen today.